deep inside the jungles of Madhya Pradesh. Respect for the forest and all of its life forms comes naturally. It's a faith deep rooted in their culture. जो वो अभी तक वन उपज के रूप में चाहे वो गोंद इकट्ठा करते हो चाहे उन मवे के फल इकट्ठा करते हो उन पेड़ों पर भी उनका एक ऐसा अधिकार हो कि उनके बीजों से उनके फलों से वो लाभ ले सके और वन के पेड़ भी सुरक्षित रह सके साथ ही सरकार ने यह भी दायित्व दिया है कि हम इन वनों का जो भी लाभ ले रहे हैं हम अपने जीवों को पार्जन के लिए लें साथ में वन के अन्य जीवों की रक्षा पूर्णतः कर सके वन्य जीवों की रक्षा जब तक हम नहीं करेंगे तब तक हमारे वन ऐसे ही कटते रहेंगे जब तक कि वनों से हमारा ये भय ना हट जाए कि अब इस जंगल में शेर नहीं है या कोई खुखार हिंसक जानवर नहीं है जब तक उन जंगलों में उन वनों में ये हिंसक जानवर बने रहेंगे हमारे वन भी सुरक्षित रहेंगे सिंस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन सेटलमेंट इन दीज एरियाज दे हैव बीन द रियल ओनर्स ऑफ दीज फॉरेस्ट लैंड एंड प्रोटेक्टेड इट from intruders the problems began when the local kings reserved parts of these forests for hunting during the reign of the east india company to meet the increasing demand for timber huge tracts of forest land were cleared of habitation a large number of forest dwellers mainly tribals were evicted over decades The Bhil Rebellion of Central India was a direct result of this continued aggression and oppression. Tribal leaders revolted against this historical injustice. After the British Raj arrived, they enacted the first ever Indian Forest Act 1927. This act and the other initiatives that followed failed to make any major impact due to various barriers like language, difficulty of access and complicated judicial mechanisms. with the new forest rights act all of that is about to change history gave our forest dwellers a raw deal it's time to serve them justice under the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers recognition of forest rights act 2006 implemented in 2008 by the government of madhya pradesh has brought home a bouquet of promises is the voice of the common man they talk of a shared dream that is all set to come true of a desire to be connected to the mainstream to belong 
to the process of national growth, of rights that are their birthrights. From the individual to the village to the state and beyond, it's a new wave of awareness that can work wonders with India's forest dwellers. The process has already started in Madhya Pradesh. ग्राम वासी है कल 11 बजे ग्राम सभा स्कूल में रखी गई है जिसमें People have already integrated to the cycle of change and tangible benefits of the process can already be felt The government has also involved related NGOs through workshops held at major urban centers like Jabalpur Jabua and Bhopal The involvement of media and the NGO sector ensured that all issues are effectively recognized, studied and addressed. Their participation helped the core team of the project to streamline a corrective feedback mechanism wherein even the smallest problems from the rural hinterlands could be addressed. We took media and the local non-government organizations, civil society organizations also on board because we found that the government machinery's reach was very limited and this task was huge and going right uh, deep down in the forest area. So we held uh, uh, media workshops at divisional headquarters and later at district headquarters to inform media about the act, the rules and the provisions of the whole thing and requested that wherever they find any anomaly, any problem or any misdeed of any government official, they should highlight it so that the corrective action could be taken in the interest of the tribal. And NGOs were also sensitized, they were also given all the literature, the copies of act rules and they were also told that through their activists they should keep an eye on the government machinery, on the whole process and wherever they find that anybody is suffering or anybody is uh, meeting uh, out injustice in the process, that should be taken care of. And I was surprised that I got nearly 17 reports in first 3-4 months from NGOs uh, conveying some problem or the other and that helped me resolve those problems and issue necessary circulars to help the tribal so that whatever the preamble of the act says that this act is to undo the historical injustice against these forest dwellers that can be carried out in letter and in spirit. Under the Forest Rights Act 2006, land certificates are given to forest dwellers which legitimize their ownership and prevent undue harassment by forest officials. So far, the Madhya Pradesh state government has distributed close to 1.5 lakh forest land rights certificates. The government has also disposed of around 15,000 claims made by individuals and communities on thoroughfares, public water resources, public places and other areas. Madhya Pradesh, the heart of India, shines in the area of forest rights. Madhya Pradesh was the first state to start uh, implementing the Forest Rights Act. Even before the act was notified on 1st January, we had already held our first round of trainings. The first uh, round of trainings was focused on raising awareness both amongst the officers as well as the public about the importance of the act and what uh, the implementing the act would entail. And uh, immediately after the act was uh, notified, we put our instructions together very quickly and uh, we trained our officers as well as uh, the public representatives and the Gram Sabha members on how to implement the act. Forest officials of Madhya Pradesh are using state-of-the-art technology to mark the land that belongs to the forest dwellers to prevent any further disputes. The survey officers 
are thoroughly trained before they are sent to the field. The project was conceptualized by the Madhya Pradesh Forest Department to capture details of forest dwellers with geolocation of their land holdings. This small handset caters to all the basic requirements of the project. This has inbuilt features of instant area calculation, geotagging of land and taking photographs of forest dwellers. The Tribal Welfare Department of the State has also customized the application to auto print a one Adhikar certificate showing map, photograph and other details of the forest land owner. All the information is uploaded on the spot and stored immediately in a central server. In the central command room, all the details of the forest dwellers are available on the click of a button on a full screen. The Tribal Welfare Department of the State with help from its forest department has developed a comprehensive software survey of forest dwellers this software conceptualized by the state's award-winning team of officers helps the survey officers to streamline the collected inputs from each beneficiary the software also gives complete district wise or block wise MIS information all the above information is placed on a website to make the system transparent This transparency in the land survey project has worked wonders to restore the confidence of the forest dweller in the existing system of governance. But this is not the only confidence building measure at work. Madhya Pradesh has worked hard with a focused strategy to make sure that benefits of the Forest Rights Act reach its real beneficiaries at the grassroots. For the first time ever, a sense of belonging permeates the marginalized forest dwellers of Central India. The credit goes to a well-trained team of instigators, always ready to spread awareness. Training is being given to teachers, government officials and other officers about how to convene and conduct meetings about forest rights and processing of claims. Thanks to their concerted efforts, People participation in the administrative process in the region has seen a significant growth and undue harassed sure signs of enhancing people's faith in grassroots level democratic institutions such as Gram Sabha and village panchayats. Not from desperation to confidence, from rejection to acceptance, it has been a journey of hope for the forest dwellers of Madhya Pradesh. Act 2006. Meet Ramnath, a local forest dweller. Life came to a grinding halt for Ramnath when his cart and bullocks were confiscated by the forest authorities. He was accused of illegally using forest lands for cultivation. For Ramnath, this was nothing short of disaster. Then, almost like a miracle, his son brought home a leaflet on forest rights for forest dwellers. From the leaflet, Ramnath learnt under Section 3, Subsection 1A and Section 4 Subsection 6 of the Forest Rights Act 2006 Those who are cultivating land but don't have supporting documents can claim up to 4 hectares as long as they are cultivating the land themselves for their livelihood prior to December 13, 2005. Ramna thought this is too good to be true but he decided to give it a try anyway. He filed a claim for his ancestral forest land in the Panchayat office. Ramnath saw a ray of hope again when a survey officer visited his home. हम लोग आपकी जमीन का सर्वे करने आए हैं। अच्छे साल। चलिए आपकी जमीन बताइए हम उसको नाप देते हैं। जी है साल। चलिए। चलिए। His task was to earmark the land that belonged to Ramnath and others in his village. Before long, his cart. And bullocks were back as well with full honor. Ramnath is called upon to present his credentials at the Gram Sabha. The Gram Sabha is a full village assembly that makes a recommendation for granting land rights, a decision that depends on factors like whether they belong to the scheduled tribes or living in the claimed land for more than three generations. Ramnath. रामनाथ पिता का नाम धन्नू धन्नू जाति ठाकुर जाति प्रमाण पत्र लगा है इसमें 
सब लगा है लो सरपंच साहब इसको चेक करो जरा क्या क्या कमी है इसमें वो समिति सदस्य के दस का देखने वो भी चेक करो इसमें दिस इज अ पब्लिक बॉडी वे ऑल पीपल पार्टिसिपेट व्हिच मेक्स इट अ फुली डेमोक्रेटिक एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट डिसीजन मेकिंग यूनिट एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल बट दैट इज जस्ट द फर्स्ट स्टेप of a three step screening process underlined in section 6 of the forest rights act 2006 the gram sabha's recommendation goes through two stages of screening committees at the taluka and district levels these committees have six members three government officers and three elected persons the district level committee makes the final decision under section 6 subsection 6 in sure district Uh, 2,800 tribal people have got their title over the forest land under their occupation. And uh, regarding this act and its provisions, when the process started, the tribal people were very much enthusiastic because they were driving their livelihood for generations from forest. And still, there was no recognition of any kind of rights on that forest land and their produce. But now, under this act, 2,800 people have got their title deed. and now they are not only improving in that land and they are also getting lot of more lot more employment lot more uh, production out of this land and now they are very very happy the changes are visible and it's the time to celebrate the process of change for centuries these people have been dedicated saviors of india's forest lands through their rituals and practices they have protected their sacred groves from withering away it's now the responsibility of the indian state to pay them back sab hamare the zameen ne sab jabt kar liye the bel nadi sab seen liye the sab hamari aur ab madhya pradesh sarkar ne humko patte de diye us wajah se hum acche kamate khate hain aur bale res se rehte hain ab hum to fasal bote hain aur saag sabji pete karte hain badhiya rehte hain sab nava naam chaitram hainda van gram nay gaon to man to na अनेक खेती किसानी के आतो ना सरकार माँ को पट्टा पावते सीता बाल गोपाल तल फ्रेम सही अमर अच्छा मन तो माँ अच्छा किसान है किसी बाल गोपाल तल अच्छा पहले माँ अच्छा मंदा और पैसा धेले बच्चा कमाई किया फॉरेस्ट वाले साहब हमारे को ये जमीन करने नहीं देते थे पहले और हम ऐसा ही जमीन करते थे इन लोग हमारे को भगजा बोलते थे यहाँ होना नहीं ऐसा बोलते थे वन विभाग वाले तो अभी हम लोग पट्टे का अधिकार मिला हमारे को जब से हम अच्छे खेती कर रहे हैं साहब और हमारा परिवार अच्छे से मजेदारी से मस्त फर्स्ट क्लास रह रहे हैं और हम सरकार को बार बार धन्यवाद देते हैं साहब वट हियर इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द हार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दैट हैज द पोटेंशियल टू विन हार्ट्स अक्रॉस द नेशन ऑन सिविल सर्विस डे 21st अप्रैल 2010 एट दिल्ली दीस फाइव की ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट वर प्रेजेंटेड विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अवार्ड फॉर एक्सीलेंस इन पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फॉर द ईयर 2008-2009 बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह On the eve of the award ceremony, a live program on the national network of Doordarshan was also broadcast, appreciating the initiatives taken by the prime persons behind this success story and the strategies adopted by the government of Madhya Pradesh in the implementation of the Forest Rights Act 2006. This motivated the governments of Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, and Uttar Pradesh to send their official representatives to Madhya Pradesh to understand the process. to get first hand information and replicate the best practices of madhya pradesh in their respective states tribal welfare and forest department of madhya pradesh has taken the most crucial first step one small effort of inclusive growth can bring a dejected forest dwelling community back from the brink of disaster and prevent them from being allured by anti social and anti state streams of thought Madhya Pradesh has shown the way and has won laurels for its efforts but the real success of the project is evident in these smiles of gratitude now it's up to the rest of the nation to take it beyond